What's up everyone? I am back at Misfit Toys in Houston, Texas with the enormous Transformers collection. It looks even bigger than before. Some of the ones I really wanted last time are still here, so I might pick them up. So uh, let's take a tour and see what they've got. Why don't you just grow up? Some highlights already are some of these box ones up top, like this Takara Omega Supreme. I've never even seen that in box. I'm completely overwhelmed in how much is in these glass cases. Something that immediately caught my eye here is this custom hoist, because this is one of my favorite molds. It looks like this is the uh, Takara one that's been custom painted to be more accurate to the show. Pretty cool. I already have five of this mold, so I don't think I need another one, but it is really cool to see since I love that character so much. We've got all three Armada Megatrons, Legacy, Biner Wars, the original back there, original custom painted. Here's something that I don't think I even knew existed, an Allspark cube. I don't remember ever seeing this made. Uh, it looks like a replica Allspark cube from the 2007 movie. Got it priced at $450 there. Probably fair because I have never seen this before. That's really cool. We've got some big ones, some third party ones here. Some Botcon ones here like Botcon Scorponok. I haven't seen that in person, I don't think. Absolute behemoth third party figures down here. This is insane. There is so much here. Some nice new in-box stuff. So we've got some original Transmetal 2 Megatrons here in one piece. Very cool to see. I'm afraid to touch them or they'll shatter. Here's something funny. You transform, you buy. Being in the store is kind of surreal because for every figure you see, there's like the rare repaint right in front of it. Most of which I haven't seen in person like ever, except in this store. So really cool to see a lot of these Energon Armada repaints that Never really got to see on store shelves, but here they are. A new in box Takara Jetfire. I always wanted this because of the more accurate paint there on the plate for Super Mode. And the painted white as opposed to the Hasbro, just plastic white, the kind of yellows. Very nice figure. Some more new in box Armada. I'm so nostalgic for this Predacon here. I think this is one of the most underrated Armada releases. And his little exclusive Minicon repaints there are essential for any Minicon collection. Tons of alternators, one of the most underrated Transformers lines in my opinion. Here's something cool, a really nice Energon Galvatron. Not a common figure to see, and he looks like he's complete except maybe the missile right there. Uh, and also, in the same case, not one, but two Omega Sentinels. Such a rare figure that so many people are looking for, and there's two right there. Oh, and in the same case, we've got, what is his name? Shadow Blade Animated Megatron. I always love that repaint as well. Some super cool rare animated stuff like Elite Guard Bumblebee, Cybertron Mode, Ratchet, the Toys R Us exclusive. If I had more room, I would definitely start an animated collection, but it's just never been a priority to me, even though I know the figures are really great. Shout out to Misfit Toys for also having a Bionicle section over here. One of my favorite molds right here, the original Armada Bendy Optimus. There are variants, ones with the little Cybertron markings there on the back and ones without. Honestly, I don't remember which one I have or I might consider getting this. Um, I have to go check to see if the one I have has the markings or if he doesn't. Maybe if I can't even remember, then I shouldn't get it. I don't know. Well, here is a repaint I don't think I've ever seen. A Dark Energon Bumblebee. And behind him and behind Ratchet, we've got a Dark Energon Knockout who's got a gnarly green translucent repaint. The Cybertron Scout Class line has always been super underrated in my opinion. And this is one mold from the Scout Class line that I don't have. But every other mold I have is a joy, especially Ransack, I really like him, the Clocker mold. Even the Beast in the Scout Class line I've always thought were really cool, even though I've never been really big into Beast figures. But in the Cybertron line, they all ruled, and I don't think I've ever even seen this one before. And here's something I've been looking for specifically. I love this repaint here of Checkpoint, aka Hot Rod. I think the colors are so interesting. And I sold my Prowl a few years ago, and I kind of regret it. I missed the mold. So I might get this so that I can have the Prowl mold, but in more interesting colors, and this really cool checkpoint repaint of Hot Rod. Another thing that I've been looking for and that I need is this repaint of Scavenger. On the back, you can see the original colors, but inside you can see it's a yellow repaint Treadbolt. And I really need this because if I want to collect all the Minicons, there's one of the essential ones right there. Here's another set of figures I've always loved. The Walmart exclusive Transformers movie repaint of the Cybertron figures. Super interesting time in the Transformers world where they just couldn't get enough figures on the shelves for the movie because it was so big. So you got repaints like these. Energon Tidal Waves Minicon, another one I'm missing even though I got Energon Tidal Wave himself loose a few years ago at BotCon. 
And by a few years ago, I mean like 12 at BotCon 2012. Again, if I'm gonna collect every Minicon, there's another one right there. Repaint, 25th anniversary of Vector Prime, Minicon right there. I'm gonna start wrapping up this visit to Misfit Toys right there. I spent a little bit looking at some other stuff, but it would just take hours to go through every Transformer in the store. If you're a Transformers fan and able to make your way to Houston, Texas, I highly recommend checking out this store. They actually have another location too with more figures. And if you're a fan of Star Wars, Dragon Ball Z, many other franchises, they've got so much other stuff in the store as well for you to check out. In the end, in this visit, I walked away with this brand new inbox Energon Treadbolt repaint of Armada Scavenger, complete with her Minicon right there, and this cool two pack that I pointed out earlier of Prowl and Checkpoint. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're able to make your way to the store or a store like it. Let me know what stood out most to you in their selection and be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Transformers stuff.